All right, check this out. You've got here the RevTech 8 GPU blockchain PC motherboard all in one, which comes with the uh, an AMD CPU of some sort, like a laptop class CPU. So very power efficient. Uh, it comes with built in memory. This is a four gigabyte DDR3 module. If you're using 30 series, I highly, highly recommend using an eight gigabyte DDR3 module. Um, fortunately in this rig, this is a G, GeForce GTX 1070, so uh, Founders Edition, so it seems to be doing okay with the 4 gig stick here. Uh, but yeah, 30 series um, generally need 8 gigabyte um, uh, of DDR3 RAM for this board. But anyway, uh, main point is that uh, it's got this here M SATA slot, so you could put a solid state drive there, and M's, uh, or a mini PCIe slot rather. Um, so you could put uh, an MSATA or you know some other um, solid state drive there, but instead I used a, just a flash drive with minor stat plugged in and an Ethernet. So flash drive, Ethernet, um, power, which is a six pin, regular six pin power you can get from your ATX or server PSU. I've got an ATX here, um, uh, power supply. That, uh, this one's only 850 watts, but I am only using one card for now. Uh, this is a test rig. And then uh, I just have the SATA plugged into an adapter to do the 6-pin. Um, I could also just go straight with one of the other PCIe slots, but I wanted to save those for your graphics cards. Uh, but uh, then you get really, so that's, that's really all you need is the, the RevTech, flash drive, riser cable. You don't even need the PCIe to USB thing because it already has the PCIe USB ports on there. So you just go graphics card, riser, straight in, power supply power that the whole board uses 15 watts which is 90 percent less than most of the desktop class motherboards that i've been using which are about 150 160 watts or so so this uses up to 15 watts it actually doesn't always use that much <laughs> um almost always doesn't use anywhere near that really um yeah power button there you've got the hdmi port and what else is over here and then two USB 2 ports and two USB 3 ports. So I've got the minor stat OS running on that USB 3 port. Um, and then another thing, uh, so yeah, you could plug, you could even plug a Wi-Fi adapter on this thing if you want. Um, NVIDIA cards, supposedly they don't come with video output, so you can't get anything out of the built-in display. When you are... Um, when you're plugging it in with an NVIDIA card, AMD works fine. However, I do have an HDMI port uh, cable plugged in straight to the graphics card that's mining right now. And I was getting a display on it. Uh, not sure if I can show it right now. Um, but at the same time, it was a bit finicky. Like they said, they don't have official support. Where's my cereal? Uh, they don't have official support for NVIDIA display out. Um, I'm not getting any signal, but I've had it working once or twice, and I've seen people on YouTube uh, working using plugging Windows, uh, installing Windows on the RevTech, and they were able to get display out as well. But I have minor stat. I was outputting on this display last night. Not sure why. Again, finicky. But with minor stat, you can go on the web dashboard and you can SSH into it anyway. So it doesn't even matter that I uh, generally you're never going to have a display output if you have a professional mining rig. Uh, this is just a test rig. That's why it's inside, inside a milk crate. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's about it.